gentlemen. Um, I'm here to share with you the metric used in the performance appraisal. I'll just give you a bird's eye view. I'll not take you through the mathematical and computer uh, analysis. I'll share with you three most fundamental aspects of the metric that was used by the panel of experts. Uh, before this appraisal by other paper, members of the National Assembly are aware that the Rules and Business Committee at the end of each legislative year turns out to report internal reports about numbers of bills sponsored by a member or a senator and all that that has been going on but the novelty of tonight's event is not only the fact that it is based on the performance of members of the national assembly it is the mix of the matrix because it's used not only the volume of bills, not only the value or an impact of the bills, but also something that is uncommon. No, not uncommon. Something that is, that is unique. Something that is extraordinary. And that is value, morality. I was discussing with the representative of the former Senate President Bukola Saraki yesterday and he told me that look, the leadership recruitment process of Nigeria is so low that even Vulcanizers Association if you look at how they recruit their executives is even better. Today, other people is raising the bar and it is raising it for good reasons. The legislature is an institution where you have one singular forum for the recruitment of our national leaders. If you look at our elected members of the executives, members of the National Assembly occupy the singular. Most of them come more from the National Assembly than from other institutions. So if we get members of our National Assembly right, we are on the path of sanitizing our leadership recru recruitment model. I will share with us only three aspects. Number one, which is very objective, a member needs to score about seven points for him to be recognized, for him to be consecrated. If the Senate and the House of Representatives pass your bill, you have one point. If only your House, perhaps the Senate passes it and the House did not, you have 0 0.5 point. But if the Senate passes it and the House passes it, that is one point out of seven. If Mr. President signs your bill, that is another big point. Now, if your bill is con considered to be impactful and valuable, it gives you two points. And you have a maximum number of points that you can earn on each metric. So if you sponsor 10 or 15 bills, if you sponsor 10 bills, you will not be having five points. No, there's a maximum that you will earn on the volume of bills. There is a maximum you will earn on the value and impact of bills. And there's a maximum you earn on the movement of your bill. So that's what I'm saying, that it is novel, not only in the mix of the metric, but even in introduction of value base. 
professors on the planet whom I'm their mouthpiece and members of the uh, civil society debated for a long time what value because the first one is subjective and value seems to be subjective and after long debate it was decided that democratic value everybody knows democratic value and democratic value is an asset so that if you earn about seven eight nine ten points and you are found wanting on morality or value it's an asset that will wipe out all your points so value is so important and that is what we lack in, in nigeria and that is the novelty of what other paper is doing i think they deserve And to go on with the value base, we said it includes accountability, character, and exemplary conduct expected of a public officer. Here too, if you are inducted today as a, most, as a member of the most valuable parliamentarian, and God forbid, in the next year or next 10 years, you are found wanting that can be withdrawn. So you are not only inducted as an exemplary member of the leadership, but you have to continue to show that exemplary leadership. So this is telling Nigerians that a new Nigeria is possible, new leadership is possible, and we may not, it may not be far-fetched. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the metric that the other people use in arriving at those members that have been finally selected today and who will be, who will, will be unveiled very, very shortly. Thank you very much.